You know, this isn't what I was expecting when I hear the words Attack on Titan the video game. Now this is more like it, just gotta click the mouse. Wait, buddy, what are you doing back there? Attack on Titan, fun for the whole family. So Attack on Titan is the hit manga and anime series about walls. Yep, that's a mighty fine wall. Oh no! So the basic plot is that humans are getting eaten by titans, humans then build walls, so many walls, and wacky hijinks ensue. Fun for the whole family. But don't worry, dear viewer, I won't spoil anything major from the show. The only gameplay I Not captured was from season one. Now then, you're probably gonna ask, since I can read your brains, wait, isn't this the second game? Why not play the first one? Or the one on the 3DS with a Monokuma Titan? I get to make my own character in the second game. Yes, that's all you need to win me over, apparently. Well, maybe some money wouldn't hurt as well. Okay, so let's get this game on Steam, cause I'm a PC pro gamer right now. And let's see. No. Ugh. I might regret this. So the game opens up after me having to adjust my resolution to click accept on the PC since for some reason I can't see it. Anyway, the game opens up with a first person view. That's nice. I think I'm gonna be sick. So we fly around at the speed of sound, then we see some muscles and faint. Understandable reaction, TBH. Oh my goodness! Look! Main characters! And they're talking to me! Me! I feel like I'm part of the world! In all its oh, amazing no, no, glory! No, no. But who exactly are we? Well, this time it's not a Nintendo console, but I wanted to create my thumbnail mascot OC, Lucia. Although the options weren't that detailed to say Code Vein, but I guess that's the outlier. Also, I may have accidentally maxed out my character's height, which hopefully won't make anything weird later, among other things, and gave her sunglasses. Why does she look like she's from the Terminator series? And also, I just realized I never thought of a surname for my OC. Well, I guess that's official then. Yeah, I know. Maybe you want to step down from being the MC and let me take over the franchise instead? So this is Eren Jägermeister, the main character of Attack on Titan, who witnessed his mother's death at their hands, and so he wants to kill them all. Nice. This leads him to joining the Survey Corps, an elite group that fly around with fancy flying contraptions, slicing titans next to kill them. That's pretty much the general gist of the story. But in this game, you instead have an OC, and the game wants to make you feel special. So it's like, hey, Eren, you know what? Our parents were also killed in the Titan invasion. Yeah, I want revenge too. So in the second Attack on Titan game, which somehow also retells the first season, even though the first game already did that, uh, you become the famed self-insert into the magic world of Attack on Titan, featuring walls, more walls, did I mention walls, Instagram selfies, visual mess, and clowns. Gee, no wonder the anime was so popular. But yes, as the main character of the game, Lucia finds herself shoved into so many scenes, tricking your memory like, wait, so she was there at that key moment? Like how most people forgot about Chip from The Simpsons. Ah, Chip, you will be missed. What do you mean I'm not allowed to use the new Simpsons in jokes? Here's what I think to that idea. <laughs> so now with Lucia, you enter the main hub world, which has all the characters milling about. Okay, hang on. Balloon physics? <laughs> well, I guess this DLC is worth its price. Oh, whoa, $5 for one skin. Ooh, okay, now I'll get into my gripes with that a whole mess later. But essentially, the first real mission has you doing some training, because you ain't gonna be able to fly around willy-nilly. And with a mouse and keyboard, oh yeah, that takes some getting used to. Don't worry, it has controller support. I'm just so traumatized after that D-pad experience in the last video. I mean, just look at my thumb! Now, if only there was a way to fix the thumbs by doing something with the thumbs on this video. But once you do get the hang of it, the game seriously makes you feel like Spider-Man. I mean, Attack on Titan, man. Look, that's what it says in the trailer, okay? Wait a minute, fake IGN. I like the rebranding. Uh, so the general controls is that you use the mouse click to shoot your grapple to the nearest object and swing forward. And it's very realistic, meaning you don't just swing from the ceiling, which means if you're out here in the wilderness, I think you might be in trouble. Unless you got a horse, because that's a thing. Yes, nothing game breaking about them at all. Unlike our instructor here, just hanging in there. 
Then you can use the spacebar to jump and pressing it again uses up a gas canister for boosting, which yeah, you do have to refill alongside your blades which wear down with each whack. But this may not be a big problem if you trust me where I'm going with this. So then the main gameplay is to lock onto titans, then right click to attack. And each titan is made up of gangly limbs that can be chopped off to either stop them from running or grabbing you like the side of a basketball tip off. Gee, brush your teeth buddy. But the main point is to go for the neck which is connected to the head as one big purple naked man would say. Now the game does go very in detail with this combat so you can't really go too wrong and trust me it does take a while to get used to getting the right combinations down. But with this gameplay system it has a few issues including everything. Okay, so first up, the weapons do break over time, and you can resupply at these bases, also changing the base's type to say cannons to help shoot the titans, and you can upgrade these at your home base later on. But you only get a limited resupply, and man, it's really annoying. I know it's accurate, and in the story, the characters are meant to feel very vulnerable. But for an insert kind of game, I really started to dislike having to break away to find a base, build it for more equipment, then come back to the Titan and not feel like I was doing any major damage. The blades honestly aren't the best for taking them down. It was legit one point in the game where I just ran out of everything and could only stand and watch and hope all my AI teammates could finish it off. Fun for the whole family. Speaking of AI, oh god, they're gonna take over. But also you get up to four party members on your team by recruiting them with these side quests in the map. Like, whoa, hey, big green thing. Rush over and save them from being eaten. Then they can do a special move with you or attack on their own, heal or just rescue you when you get jumped. Now why did I go in depth to all of this when earlier I hinted that you don't need any of it. You don't need any of it. Well it's true because I just wanted to show you I guess how you're meant to play the game. You know, scared for your life, fearing the monsters. Or oh, you could just use the big blasty. <laughs> So, uh, you know, in the game, there's base things you build. Well, you can change your weapon type to a gun. And holy cannoli, I think I broke the game. There's no skill now. Look at this. Now, some more classical people might say the blades are more authentic. You know, making you feel weaker against the bigger titans. And that you should feel scared. And yes, I was scared. But now Lucia has the power of a big dispensary gas canister. And she don't want to go back. It surprisingly made the game way more relaxing, but also incredibly repetitive. Like look, here's literally the best strat for the game. In the first ever Ramsey speedrunning guide to a game no one asked for. Okay, so you start, find a base, change weapon to the gun, resupply a bit, then speed along to a titan, lock on, spam F to fire ammo and pay respects, reload, and repeat to the next titan. Easy win. Nearly every single mission I got triple S rankings, or ass ones when I felt lazy and didn't want to go for the extra titans. Gee, thanks! Now give me that anime deal and put me on the box hard error. And then to make matters even better, you also have this super anime saiyan blue power up you get to use once per mission, which gives you infinite ammo, no need for reloading. And yeah, it really made the mini bosses, well, quite mini indeed. Now when you're not blasting titans, you return to your home base where you can upgrade equipment, do some training, or rank up links with your party members. Yes, every single character you can rank up with, with higher ranks giving you abilities to equip. The small side characters don't really do much apart from that, but with the main characters, you get a story of them talking with Lucia. Oh my god, Lucia, I forgot how tall I made you. I guess this adds to her being a Terminator. So that's pretty much the whole story mode aspect. But what's this? More content? Oh my goodness, that's crazy! Like an online mode with other players? Doesn't that sound cool? Doesn't that sound amazing? Oh, well, I mean, it's not really dead. Maybe I was just on at a bad time? People really hate clowns? But don't worry, you can also go offline and replay missions in this mode, which actually levels up your character and gets you materials to use in story mode. Then another mode they have, which is taking the land back from the titans, where it's like a board game where you have turns to move, and you gotta pick which path to take. You start off with an empty base and no characters, but are able to recruit them along the way. Well, you don't have to invite them if you don't want to. 
Oh no, the clown is angry. This mode is all right. I mean, if you're okay with the repetitive gameplay, then you should be okay with anything. And that includes visiting your grandmother on the weekends. It even has a strategy to it, like managing the teammates' fatigue, subbing them in and out, similar to a certain other traumatic series. Now, before I talk about the clown, I want to say this game's audio is Japanese only with subtitles, which is fine normally, but when you're in the thick of the action, it kind of gets hard to focus on the dialogue because you don't want to be looking at the bottom of the screen. So then clowns. Wait, what, what was I going to say about the clown? Oh, yes. I almost forgot. These individual outfits cost $5 each. Yes, as per the Koei Tecmo standard, they seem to do this a lot. The cosmetic outfits are $5 each. And me. Okay, you know, the customization dude. I'll buy the 20-piece bundle, okay? It should give me enough skins to mess about with, right? Ah, only one skin for some of the characters. And it excludes the multiple holiday outfits, which is probably the best ones in the game. Well, okay, normally this is fine. It's just cosmetics, right? Haha, <laughs> nope. Because as you probably noticed, half of the time, you don't even see the outfits. They only show up in the hub world or in that offline mode. Because in the actual main story mode, it reverts back to the default outfit. So then what's the actual point to getting this? Nearly all my footage, they look normal. Where's my clown and ninjas? I just want them to look stupid in the story mode. I already know and experience. <laughs> no, you're the dumb looking one. Uh, so did I really waste my money buying these outfits? Yes. But don't worry, I didn't spend any more. I'm smart with my money. Hey, seriously, you don't remember buying this? I, I really don't, please believe me. So that's Attack on Titan, the game. The second one. Should you get it? I mean, if you're a fan of the anime and manga, yes, very much so. There is just so much fun fan service here, from the way it plays, like it's just so fun flying around, to the amount of content and all the modes, the character extra side stories, the way you can play through the main story as your own character. Although I did hear that season three part and somehow reverts back to only playing as Eren. Sure, the gameplay can get extremely repetitive, which is probably the biggest downside to it. But if you don't mind absolutely wrecking Titans, which is sort of therapeutic after watching the anime, then I highly recommend this. If you want to get into this series though, I mean, what's the anime, okay? Hey, do you think there's something suspicious about that group? What, the one over there? Nah. Trojan, Ramses, Magnum, Sheik! <laughs>